From this world, you see that exhibition when he was working as an ad man. He's taken a huge team to pull the exhibition together, both from the uh, Archaeology of New South Wales, but also from the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh. And I really want to express my thanks uh, to everyone uh, who's brought this together. There are a lot of works in this show, and it's been quite complex, but I hope you agree when you have a chance to walk through the show with the curators um, that it is a, a great success and gives us an amazing insight into an artist who is clearly one of the most important artists of the 20th century, one of the most important artists of our times. Um, the Warhol Museum opened in, in 1994 and the Warhol Museum has created an extraordinary platform for making Warhol exhibitions and for conducting uh, you know, primary research on, on Warhol's work. So one of the things that's I think really energising for, for us as you know, people that, that are, you know, live and breathe Warhol's work is we've been able to show objects uh, in, in this exhibition that have never been put on public display before and we'll, we'll highlight some of them as, as we move through the space. first decade of his career in New York. Sometimes people think that he graduated, went to New York, and immediately started painting Campbell's soup cans, but that's really not the case. There was this whole trial and error period of a decade of work in commercial design where he was garnering a very handsome salary. He was very much in demand. He was winning awards for his commercial work, and then eventually moved into the fine art sphere. But one of the reasons that we were particularly interested in, in putting this show together is that it may seem hard to believe, but there actually hasn't been a, a comprehensive exhibition looking at this pre-pop phase of Warhol's work. One that looks at his work as an artist, uh, uh, showing in galleries, as a commercial artist working in the advertising world, uh, you know, and, and also someone I guess forging the, the beginnings of, of what will become this you know, most unique take on, on pop art. That's been an exhibition focusing on, on the broad scope of Warhol's 50s project since 1989, so it's two years after Warhol passed away in 1987. <laughs> I think 
think what's really exciting about this is you get different ideas about Warhol, and you get this young, ambitious side of him, um, a more fearless side of Andy Warhol, because here he is working in commercial design, but at the same time he's building a social circle for himself in New York. He's doing very intimate drawings of um, young men, and so he's revealing a side of his sexuality that I think is very provocative and sort of fearless, and um, I think that's the really beautiful story that comes out of this show. It was actually done for, um, you know, like, a few years ago, in the early 90s, and it was done for a few years ago.